If you are a creep, please evacuate. Oh no. <gasps> oh. Hello everyone, today we are doing a little does it work video. All right, I've been meaning to try this for so blooming long and today is the day, okay? Boob tape. I saw this on a Facebook ad and you know how Facebook ads get me every time. So this is called Boob Tape by Nubu. Nubu, Nubu, I'm assuming that's how you say it, Nubu. I don't know. Uh, I'm wearing this low cut dress right now so we can see the before and after. Now, about my boobs. I have fake boobs. They are, how old now? Like seven years old or something? I don't know, something like that. Gravity obviously takes its toll. I love my boobs. I happily rock dresses like this without a bra, but I do want to see if this stuff works in holding them up. They're about a D or a double D, kind of depends if I'm on my period or not. They swell up so much. It would be nice to see if we could like, you know, hitch them up like this. And sometimes some outfits just look better with boobs like closer together or higher up or like whatever, whatever. So I'm just really interested to see if this works, if it hurts, if it lasts all day. I'm gonna wear it all day. It's lunchtime now. So in this packet you get five centimeters by five centimeters. It's made out of 95% cotton, 5% spandex and it's got acrylic adhesive whatever that means cut strips of boob tape about 12 inches oh five centimeters by five meters okay i read that wrong i was thinking five centimeters by five centimeters is very small cut strips of boob tape about 12 inches and make sure your skin is dry by the way i have nothing on my skin no moisturizer no setting mist or makeup or anything like that down here i've got some bronzer just here but that's it make sure your skin is dry remove the backing paper and lift your breast to the desired position Apply the tape below the breast and pull the tape over your shoulder and secure. Repeat on the other side and boom, instant cleavage. If you have sensitive skin, we recommend that you pre-test the tape on your skin. If there is irritation or redness, discontinue. We'll find that out later. I'm just going to go for it. Balls deep. We'll see what happens. And I'll show me removing it later tonight and we'll see, you know, if it hurts or anything. It says it's waterproof. So you can even use it at the beach. Vegan, does not remove fake tan, hypoallergenic, latex free and painless to remove. Have you found the perfect outfit but no bra works with it? Nothing works with your bust size. Apparently a boot tape is meant to be really good for people that have big boobs because you can just like layer it up and use as much as you need to keep those puppies up. Unlike, you know, like stick on bras for example don't work for everyone. They barely work for me. I can just get them to work but like, it's a bit risky so maybe for like your wedding day or a special event where you want to wear a certain like backless dress or something I don't know and stick on bras don't work for you you can't just wear nipple covers usually I just go in with nipple covers and like I'm done with it anyway we're gonna jump in and give this a go so I'm gonna pop on some nipple covers so there's no accidents in this video sorry in case you were looking forward to that for some creepy reason let's be honest there's some creepy people out there so I'm from New Zealand we use centimeters and meters etc we don't use inches but I know how much 12 inches is because I think about Subway you know like a Subway sandwich like a foot long right like okay so we've got black and nude I remember how much I paid for this I will write it down below and if this works I'm really keen to try out Kim Kardashian's one she's bringing out because I quite like the Kardashians not gonna lie and I buy a lot of their stuff I feel like if anyone's gonna know what's good for like boob tape and stuff like that it's gonna be Kim Kardashian let's be honest so I'm just gonna peel off this little sticker it literally looks like a giant plaster or band-aid comment below do you call it a band-aid or a plaster or something else. I feel like I switch between band-aid and plaster. Like in real life, I call it a plaster, but on YouTube, I usually say like band-aid because most of my viewers don't know what a plaster is. It's the same thing. Okay, anyways, so on the bag, it's just got like the, you know, piece of paper you peel off and it's got the logo and everything on it, which is handy, I guess, in case you lose the box and you can't remember what the brand was, like at least you've got it right there. So we're gonna take like a foot long amount. I might even take a little bit extra. So maybe like, what do you reckon? I reckon that looks about right. Someone do the math for me. This is five meters and you're using about 12 inches per time. How many uses are you gonna get? Keeping in mind you need two of the 12 inches at a time because what the heck is, I don't know how many friggin' inches are in five meters. Why are they switching between different measurements? I'm going to peel off the bottom part. I think I'm gonna keep half of the backing on just to like kind of roll it up and make sure it's really smooth. So the, you know, I'm gonna call it the boob tape is that what it's called the boob tape itself literally yeah just looks like a fabric band-aid and it's quite stretchy which is good so you can kind of like really pull it up and it feels very flexible and 
thin. It doesn't feel heavy. I thought it'd be very like heavy, but yeah, it feels very thin and it looks quite breathable. Like there's a lot of holes in there, which I guess is good. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Look what I've done. It's like sticking to itself. Oh my God. I guess I also need to figure out like what kind of angle it needs to go on. I suppose it needs to kind of go on a V because I don't really want it to show like up here, like around my neck. I want it to be covered by the sleeve. All right, so hopefully I don't get demonetized for this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just kind of like rubbing it. It doesn't immediately like stick hard out to your skin. Like you kind of have to rub it on there. Oh god, I almost need someone to help me with this. Oh no. <gasps> it sticks to itself very well. I can tell you that much. Okay, I'm just trying to like get it to stick right now. Honestly, this stuff's not sticking to my skin the best. But like I said, we'll wear it all day and I'll let you know if it like peels off or anything and in how long. So like I said, it's 12. So I'll tell you exactly how long, you know, you want this to last. I suppose if you're going on a night out or you've got a wedding or something like that, you're going to want it to last what? At least maybe between four and six hours. Is that reasonable? I don't know. Anyway, there's the before and after. I feel like it looks kind of the same. I might have to do like another piece, I reckon. Because, yeah, I feel like if you had a smaller bust, it'd be okay with just one. But my boobs are a little bit bigger because there's a whole lot of friggin' plastic in them. And I feel like I just need a little bit more lift because, like I said, like, this is very, very stretchy. And it's not very thick, which I initially liked. But now I kind of wish it was a little bit thicker and a little bit stronger so that it worked a bit more effectively, you know? I'm actually going to try doing another layer. And I feel like you can use a little bit less than what I used last time because it is so stretchy and you want to pull it tight so that, you know, you're actually doing something like lifting your boob up. If you just put it on not so tight, it's not going to change the shape of your boob. Alrighty. I'm gonna stick this puppy on. Holy shit, I'm like squashing my boob into the weirdest shape on the back now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, baby. This is a whole new level of catfish. Look, you can see it there. <laughs> okay, obviously this is the kind of thing that's probably gonna be better with practice, right? So we're just gonna like roll with it. I'm just gonna let that happen right now. We'll accept it, move on, cuz... Alright, so I can definitely see a difference like this is more what my boobs look like when I just got them done <laughs> it definitely looks much more lifted it looks higher same thing it definitely looks more lifted that's about it like I feel like I guess it's pushed it in a tiny amount I've got naturally very deep set boobs like my boobs are not like in here I've got side boob which I don't even like side boob like whatever this is just the way I was programmed so I gave a little bit more cleavage in the middle Let's do the other one and see if there's a more obvious difference. I feel weird touching my tits, but whatever. Here we bloody go again. Oh my god. This one is not sticking. The stickiness is like gone. If you enjoy this video, let me know and we'll do one trying Kim Kardashian's boob tape. I want to see if it's better. Because like, I've seen the videos going around on her um, Instagram stories and like Twitter. And it looks better than this, I'm not gonna lie, like this. It says it's premium boob tape. Don't know how I feel about that claim. There's just nothing about it. Like, obviously I'm a newbie to this, but like, it just doesn't feel premium to me. Shit. Oh my God, this is the weirdest thing I've ever filmed. All right, it's looking okay. Imagine if my channel got deleted because of this video. Ah! I'm gonna say it right now. I'm just not that impressed. And it's also not sticking properly. Look at this. It's just like peeled off and stuck to itself. Sticking to itself and not to my skin. I'm just gonna sit here, like chill, just relaxed. Not pushing my boobs together, not pushing my arms together like this. Like that looks great, hey. Obviously, I just wanna see how it looks just with me being relaxed, talking with my hands. How does it look? I mean, they look lifted a little bit. Is it worth all the effort? I don't know. My boobs look smaller too. Don't they? It's not a bad thing though. <laughs> Just an observation. Oh, that was a big sneeze. So, I'm gonna do a little before and after. You tell me. Do you think it's worth the effort? How do you think it looks? And I can't get more cleavage than this with this outfit. I think if I was wearing a less low cut dress, like if it like went there, you could cross over from like shoulder, cut it under and then like tie it down here. And I temporarily tried that before, but all you could see was tape all down here because this dress almost comes down to like my belly button. So with this particular one, like definitely this is about it. And I've kind of tried to squash my boobs in a bit. Look, I can still do it with my hands, but it's just that the tape's not strong enough to really force them into place. Like this is about as much shape as I can get with this tape right now without it pinging off my skin, which it's already starting to do. So 
I don't think this is going to be very long wear. I mean, I'll still update you later and let you guys know my final thoughts, but that's how it's looking. It definitely would not hurt. I can tell you that much right now. Like, if you put that straight on top of your nipple and peeled it off, it's not going to hurt. It's not sticky. Literally not sticky. Did I get a dud one? Is mine a dud? I don't know. Or is it just... So it's just the way the cookie crumbles. If you guys ever tried this, let me know. And if not this brand, which brand do you use? Do you like it? Should I buy a different brand? Should I buy the Kim Kardashian one? Kind of keen to. Yeah, if I like sit like this, like sit with my arms strategically placed to give me that maximum cleavage, it looks really good, right? Like, that looks nice. They definitely look lifted. They look pretty good right here. If I just sit like this, this is good. Just don't know if it's worth the effort, don't know if it's gonna last. I'll come back later and I'll let you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up. It's been on for about four hours and I'm so irritated. Like, I just feel so irritated in my shoulder area where it's sitting. I just don't like the way it feels. It feels strange. I can feel where it is and every time I like move a little bit, I can feel it like unsticking and sticking and unsticking. It's stuck to the shoulders, so I can see why they say to wrap it around your shoulders because it really does stay over here. Whereas like through here, where you've got a bit of a hollow under your like collarbones, it's not even stuck whatsoever. And then it kind of sticks underneath your boob. So there's a couple of key points where it does stay stuck and then other areas where it kind of like comes undone. Overall, like I'm not that impressed in this product. I would like to kind of keep trying it. I know my boobs can do things because I can move them with my hands, but yeah, the tape's just not really strong enough, I don't think. And then when I tried to do it even tighter, it didn't stick. It's just not sticky enough. Like, it literally just comes right off. So I'm gonna just peel it off. Look, the hole underneath, like, was barely even touching me anymore. And I'm not sweaty at all. I don't have oily skin. In fact, I've got very, very dry skin on my body. Like, way drier than my actual face. There we go. So it stuck to my back and that was about it. It didn't stick anywhere else, which is so weird. Once again, let's just do a little before and after. So this boob has no tape on it. This one does. I feel like they look almost the same. I feel like since sticking this on, the boob has just like floated back to its natural position again. So I'm just gonna like take this off. Definitely does not hurt, but it feels weird. Like I can definitely feel where the tape like was. That one was stuck to that boob a little bit better, but you can see where the tape was. Look, see that pink mark? <laughs> see some like temporary irritation just there. It doesn't hurt or anything. It just feels weird. Like I said, like while I was wearing it, just working away, doing some editing and stuff like it, I don't know. For an event or something, I would put up with it if the results were that good, but for me the results just weren't that good. I need to play with it some more. I need to try some different brands, I think. I think if you have smaller boobs, it might be a better result with this particular brand. But like, I just need something a little bit less stretchy, believe it or not, just so that you can really stick them there exactly where you want them so that the stretch doesn't alter the results. And that way I would happily sit in a bit more discomfort as well, like if it was less comfortable, if the results were amazing. Do you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys thought. Would you bother doing that? Do you think the results are worth it? Have you tried it yourself? I'm gonna read all your comments and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!